The Biden administration also banning most travel to and from India starting today due to the rapid spread of COVID-19 there. More than one million new infections in the last week. News 12 Connecticut's Ali Warshavsky spoke with one woman whose family is hospitalized in India. Oh, it's very scary. I feel so bad. I wish I, I could do something. As Pinky Carr cooks for customers at Saffron Indian Cuisine in Norwalk, she's waiting to hear if her aunt has been released from a hospital in India after battling COVID-19. Her cousin was released earlier this week. Both of them had breathing problems and uh, they had fever, which was going up and down but it wasn't getting in control. Her aunt and cousin live in Delhi, which has been recording 400 COVID-19 deaths a day, and the healthcare system is overwhelmed. They were actually able to find beds in the hospital, and they, were, they got good care in the hospital, thank God. The chief program officer for Stanford-based AmeriCares says they have 100 team members in India right now. It's a very serious situation. The hospitals are... Um, not able to cope. They are working with 30 hospitals in 10 states with the highest COVID rates to bring in more oxygen, ICU beds, and PPE for staff. They're also helping the public stop the spread. The third line of action are uh, working with the communities uh, on information, on prevention, and on uh, personal protective equipment as well. So far, AmeriCares has provided 1 million protective supplies to hospitals in Mumbai and Delhi. In Norwalk, Ali Warshavsky, News 12, Connecticut. AmeriCare started an India COVID fund to support their efforts and get supplies. More on how you can donate on news12.com.